one of the best of the Muslims are those who call others towards Islam. And you know, there are two main ways of calling people towards Islam. One is by inviting them verbally. And the other is just through our character and conduct. If you take a look at the Jawa and the region of Far East Asia and how Islam spread there to the degree that today we have the most number of Muslims on the globe concentrated in that region. You will find that it's there through the business people and the others who came their character, conduct and uprightness automatically invited people towards this beautiful faith of Islam. If one person were to accept the deen through an effort of yours by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, automatically you would achieve a lot because every salah they read, you have a reward. But the difficulty is some people believe you should not be kind to non-Muslims. You should not be good to non-Muslims. You should look at them with a dirty eye. Astaghfirullah. That is not Islam. In fact, Islam is the opposite where you need to treat every non-Muslim as a potential Muslim. Every non-Muslim is in fact a not yet Muslim. They would be keen on Islam if we had to lead our lives properly. But we lie, we cheat, we swear, we deceive. We are unfaithful. What else? We have so much in terms of negativity. We fight each other. We are disunited. What else? We oppress our women sometimes in the name of Islam. And we say this is religion. And then what, do, what else do we do? We don't want to greet one another as Muslims. What, what are we showing? What are we showing to the non-Muslims? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May he grant us strength. My brothers and sisters, it's about time we educated ourselves regarding Islam. Feel the hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is all merciful. Allah loves you. He wants to forgive you. He is looking for any excuse to forgive you. He wants to give you paradise. He is looking for any excuse to give you that paradise. Give him that excuse. Turn to Allah. Turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Really. You know, we always say to ourselves that Allah sends us reminders. We know that reminders come to us. But do you know that there is a limit to the amount of reminders that will come to you before we will become expired or the wrath overtakes us. May Allah protect us.